Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is designed to help you, the new user over to Linux Mint, get the absolute best out of your operating system. And today I want to talk about um, optimizing your Linux Mint installation for gaming, part one. Now, this only applies to people who have an AMD CPU and an AMD GPU. If you have any other configuration, this video is not for you. See a different video later on in the series. But for people like me who have an all AMD PC, you've downloaded and installed Linux Mint, put it on your PC, and you want to really, really optimize it to get the most out of your games. So I'm going to assume that you've installed Steam and you know about Proton and you know about games that run natively. So what can we do to drag every drop of performance out of the hardware? Well, number one is very, very simple. Number one, um, if you go to your Linux Mint menu and left click your settings icon, you'll want to go to effects, double left click that and make sure it's turned off. Turn all effects off. Once you've done that, go back to your control panel, go to extensions and make sure there are no installed activated extensions on your system. Number three, you want to go to hot corners and make sure all your hot corners are deactivated by default. That will make sure that you're dragging the most bang for your book out your operating system and not wasting resources trying to do wobbly windows, special effects, etc., hot corners and the like. The next thing is to optimize your AMD drivers. Now, a lot of people say to me, yeah, but I don't need to optimize the drivers because the drivers are inbuilt in the kernel. Well, that's true. And you don't need to go to the AMD website download and install the latest Raiden drivers. But what I would heartily recommend is you go to a third party independent maintainer of the latest Mesa drivers. And this guy is absolutely fantastic and keeps everything bang up to date. And this will ensure that your graphics always look superb. To do that, Go to this website. I'll put a shortcut link underneath this video. Again, this is only pertaining to people who are on Linux Mint and have an all AMD CPU GPU combination. If you have any other combination, please completely dismiss and ignore this information that I'm getting out in the video. Again, I don't recommend or you know suggest that you should do it. You do this at your own risk. All I can tell you is that from my experience, it's made a massive difference to the game performance on Linux Mint. Okay, so if you scroll down, so this is, it's called Kiask, Kiask Mesa Fresh, and there's a little bit of an explanation here, and he keeps these absolutely bang up to date, week after week, month after month, year after year. So the simple way to get this installed, it's very easy on your Linux Mint, is to go ahead and copy and paste these two lines in your terminal. Um, number one is the actual PPA to the repository. And number two, sudo apt update. And you're done. Whenever there's new updates, they will come down in the update manager as per any other update and automatically install you will then always have the latest freshest mesa drivers for your all amd system and you will always have the fastest best looking graphics that you can get it's as simple as that it's very easy to do very few people that i speak to even know about this and if more people used it they would have a much better experience than just the inbuilt drivers in the kernel, which in themselves are okay, 
that they're nowhere near as optimised and refined as the ones here from Kaisak. Okay, if you've got any questions, please post them underneath the video. In the next video, are a little bit more in-depth, a little bit more scary. I'll tell you all about installing a specialised gaming Linux kernel, um, which I've been using now for quite a while. And compared to the stock standard Linux Mint kernel, again, it will it will completely transform your gaming experience. Again, not a lot of people that I talk to know about it or have even heard of it. A few people have, but the majority haven't. And again, just following these simple step-by-step -step videos, they will seriously help transform your Linux Mint computing experience. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up if you loved it. Down if you hated it. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.